A number of national statistics offices have dynamic population pyramids available on their website. For example, the Australian Bureau of Statistics. If we click the Australia's Population Indicator, then we will be presented with a number of options. Click on Animated Population Pyramids, then on View the Population Pyramid for Australia. And here we have the Dynamic Population Pyramid for Australia. The first thing we can do is get it on full screen by pressing the full screen option. We can also alter the speed. First, I will run it at a fast speed. I will also reset it to the beginning of the time period, 1971. I can highlight an age and look at the characteristics of the people in the population at that age. These are shown in the right hand box and show the number of males and females together with the sex ratio of males to females of that age in this time period. Let me now play the population pyramid for the years between 1971 to 2006 and clearly we can see as in many other countries the ageing of the Australian population. Let me play it again at a slow speed. Reset to the beginning of the time period and play. This time, as it moves slowly, we can observe the change in the density of the colour in the population pyramid. When we get to around about 2010, this is the last of the actual data. To indicate this, there will be a lessening in the colour Here we see that the shading has dropped in intensity. This is to let us know that we've moved from actual population data to projected population data. At any point, we can stop and look at the structure of the population at that point, or we can continue to play. Let me now choose a medium speed, reset the time period and look at a state or territory of Australia. Let me choose one which has a much smaller population than most of the other states, the Northern Territory. From the very beginning we can see that this has a characteristic of a big dip in the population for those older teenagers, young adults. At this time period they were probably leaving the Northern Territory to go away for upper secondary schooling or university education. Let me now play the pyramid. We can see by the movement in and out that indeed this is a volatile population. We can also see that it's dominated by young adults, the young working age population, possibly moving to the Northern Territory for employment. This facility can be used to compare population changes between states and territories or between a state and the national population. Many other national statistics officers also have dynamic population pyramids. You may like to visit the website for the Federal Statistical Office of Germany who presents some additional options with dynamic population pyramids.